Okay, the Hive and Air Attack 2 package. Fairly simple. The top is the part that has the green screen attached to the top. There isn't one towards the bottom. What we generally do is simply pull out the staples using the corner of a hive tool. And I release the screen. <clears throat> then to get the bees down, just so that you can work with the queen, just give it a sharp tap on tap down. All the bees fall to the bottom. Now you can remove the cone and the queen, which you do directly over the hive. So that any bees that uh, come with the queen can fall into the hive. It's a little bit warm this evening, so we're not having the friendliest of bees. But we don't uh, control Mother Nature, so we take what God gives us, in any case. That's the cork is ex uh, extruded enough so that you can pull it out. I usually try to do that if I can't. And very carefully push the cork in. Without squishing the queen. Then find some granulated honey and wax, if you can. Go through the hole, just to slow down the queen from coming out while you're putting them in. Then, as I mentioned before, you just put it down with the queen cage with the mesh up against the frame, so that if she falls, she falls upright. Most of the time when it's bright, you can still see and, and set her back up, but not necessary. So we put her in. Turn the package over, and on the bottom of the hive, and there they are. And as I mentioned earlier, we put the frames back in, gently on top of the bees, push them up against the queen cage. I used to move the feeder over so that I've got the space to put the frames in later when we pull the feeder out, and 